Hello, boys and girls. Today we are going to be watching our friends take their SOL reading and math test. Look at our friends Sam, Susie, and Alice. They look like they had a good night's sleep and ate a good breakfast at school. They feel ready and motivated to take their SOL. But look at our other friends, Betty and Eunice. They don't seem to be as prepared. Betty is yawning and tired from staying up so late last night. And all Eunice wants to do is lay her head down on the desk. I'm sorry, I'm tired. She also tired. forgot to get her breakfast from school and all she can think about is how hungry she is. It looks like it's going to be a hard for Betty and Eunice to stay focused on the test. Oh, Susie is doing a great job. She's counting the number of paragraphs before she reads so she can get her scratch paper ready for passage attack. Look, she counted four paragraphs. She's folding her paper into fourths and numbered each square to match the paragraphs. Now she is ready to stop or jot or draw a picture after she reads each paragraph. If she doesn't understand what she read the first time, she's going back and rereading the sentences. Remember to take your time. You can reread a passage as many times as you need to. Oh, look at our friend Alice. She turned on her answer masking tool. What a great job she's doing. Alice remembered how important it is to check her work so she's going back and checking her answers before she goes to the next question. Remember, you can go back to a question again on the reading test if you flag it, it and it's within the passage. You can't go back at all on the math SOL, but you can go back on the Virginia Studies and Science SOLs. Uh-oh, look at Eunice. It looks like she's clicking random answers just to get done quickly. That is not helpful and not the way to be successful on the SOL test. Oh. Betty seems to be daydreaming. She's looking around the room and interrupting her friends around her. She is not being respectful of others and not putting an effort to pass her test. Wow, our friends have been working so hard and staying focused for so long. They're doing a great job. It looks like it's time for a break. Susie is doing a great job taking a brain break and stretching in her seat. Alice did a great job of raising her hand and waiting for the teacher to tell her she could use the bathroom. Remember friends, an adult has to walk you to the bathroom during the SOL test and only one person can go at a time. Betty looks like she needs a break as well, but Betty decides to look around the room and park her pencil at other students' computers. Eunice decides that it's okay to take a nap. This is not the way we take our SOL test. Remember friends, breaks can be a great opportunity to get focused again. When you come back to your test, check your answers and stay motivated. Sam is using his scratch paper to work out of problems. Look how hard he is working on the problem. He is using his ruler tool when he needs to during the test. He remembered to start at the zero and not at the end of the ruler. Well, look at Alice. She's checking over her answers twice because she knows once she hits next, she can't go back. Eunice is at it again. Look at her just clicking away. And see what she's doing with her scratch paper? It looks like Alice has reached her last question. Alice raises her hand and the teacher will direct her to exit the test. Susie is still working hard on her test and look how great she's using her scratch paper to help her. Sam is very focused and paying attention to the screen and not rushing. Eunice is not using her scratch paper appropriately and is distracting other students. Betty is getting anxious and sees that Alice is finished with her test, so she's trying to rush to finish. Remember, friends, just because someone around you is finished does not mean you have to be finished as well. 
You have all school day to work on your SOL, and it is important you take your time, use your reading strategies, and check your answers. Although Alice is finished, she is doing a great job staying quiet and reading her book. You will not be allowed to play computer games when you are done with your SOL, so there is no need to rush. All the students are finishing up their tests. At this time, the teacher will give out water tickets to those students who have given a lot of hard work. Use their strategies. Where's my ticket? Sam, you did a great job staying on task and using your scratch paper. Great job. Susie, great job. I saw you checking your work, using those strategies. And Alice, you've been doing such a hard job all day today. Great job. I'm sorry, Eunice. I'm Betty. Betty and Eunice, you were not showing your best effort today. So I don't get to go to water day? I'm sorry. You've got one less activity to participate in. Can I try tomorrow? You can try better tomorrow. So if I do better tomorrow, I can go to water day? Yes. We're going to do it. So boys and girls, you can see we had some students who were making good choices during their SOLs and they earned their water day ticket, and students that didn't. So what were some of those good choices we saw? Hmm, I saw Alice raising her hand before she went to the restroom. I saw Alice reading quietly and she was done. I saw Sam checking his work, making sure every problem was done correctly. And Susie Q used her scratch paper. Now you all have strategies that you've talked to your teachers about, and that's what you need to do. And my strategies may not be the ones that you and your teacher talked about that you need to do. But you need to know going in for your SOLs what strategies your teacher wants you to do. Now we all may be having a bad day, like Eunice was having a bad day. But if you want to earn that water ticket, you need to talk to the teachers around you and help you turn that day around so you can do your best, okay? Don't be like a Betty. Don't be like a Eunice. Let's everybody earn those water day tickets. Now remember, you get a water day ticket for every day you test. So most of us are taking two days for their reading test, which means you can earn two tickets. Each ticket gets you into one water day station. And we have quite a few water day stations planned. And I think that one of those is a dunk tank. And if I'm not mistaken, maybe we get some teachers who are gonna get in that dunk tank. No, 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 don't ask. The dunk tank is only for teachers to get into, not students. But you earn a ticket to maybe dunk your favorite teacher. How much fun is that? Remember, boys and girls, it's all about effort. If you show effort, you get a ticket. So show your effort, work hard, and that's all we can ask. We believe in you.